Konnichiwa, Kako. This is section 9.7, which is factoring special cases. We hit our special cases earlier in the chapter on how to multiply them. Now we're going to uh, figure out how to factor them. So there's two types. There's perfect square trinomials, and there's difference of squares. Um, if you remember perfect square trinomials, the outsides are perfect squares. So there's invisible one there, although they don't put the one. And this one and the 16 are perfect squares. And it's a trinomial because there's three terms. In this case, there's like a 4x squared and the 36. What you got to be careful is not all are perfect square trinomials. So you got to make sure in the inside it adds up when you factor. Okay, so in this case, these are perfect square trinomials, and you'll see what I mean when we start factoring them. The second type of special case is difference of squares. So it's a perfect square minus another perfect square. So like the square root of x squared is x, square root of 1 is 1, or plus or minus 1. Um, here's another perfect square minus another perfect square, so it's difference or subtraction of squares, perfect squares. This is a perfect square. Okay, the square root of this would be 4 x squared y. And this is a perfect square, which would be 7z, the square root. Okay, so if you have a perfect square minus a perfect square, those are called difference of squares. Okay, um, so here's how we factor them. The first type is going to be the perfect square trinomial. Um, what you want to look for is if this is a perfect square and this is a perfect square, Okay. All you do is, if you think of it this way, because this is a plus, it's going to be plus plus. Factors of 16 that add up to 8. Because it's a perfect score, it's going to be 4 and 4. And then the x and the x. But if you notice, it's just x plus 4, and you can rewrite it as x plus 4, the quantity squared. Okay. Um, another way of doing it is just doing it this way. You can do the square, put this sign here, and what you want to do is take the square root here, and that goes here, and this square root goes here, and it's a 9. So it's just quantity of x minus 9 squared. Okay. But what you want to do is make sure that when you foil it, the 4x plus 4x here, the O and the I of foil, add up to this 8 here. Okay. So if I thought of this as x minus 9, x minus 9, I need this to be minus 9 and negative 9 is negative 18, so it does add up, so it's okay. Okay, so you just got to do a check, make sure it works out, and then this is my answer. Okay. So my answer is x plus 4 squared on this one, and x minus 9 squared on that one. Okay, if you have a, a number other than 1 in front, this one has a 1 in front, this one has an invisible 1 in front as well. If you have a 9, you can think of it this way again if you wanted to. Put the square root here, so 3x, 3x. Because this is a plus and this is a plus, I know it's going to be plus plus. And put the square root here, which is 2 and 2. So the square root of the 9 goes here and here. And the square root of the 4, or the 9x squared, goes here and here. Okay. And you would just rewrite it as 3x plus 2, the quantity squared. Okay, because this one is a minus, I know it's going to be minus. If I did it the shortcut way, I'll take the square root of this here, and it'd be 2y. Because this is a minus, this is a positive, so I know the signs are the same, this is minus. I'm going to put the minus here, and then the square root of this goes here, and then make sure you square it. So it's 2y minus 9, the quantity squared. And that's how you factor perfect square trinomials. Okay, the other one is difference of squares. I'll leave those examples so you can kind of see them as well. If I have a perfect square minus a perfect square, another way of thinking of it would be thinking of it as x squared plus 0x minus 1. You could think of it that way. Okay. Or you could just think of it this way. What you do is you put it as a plus and minus, because this is a minus one, like over here, you know it's going to be a plus and a minus. Okay, remember when we factored, we said the C, if the C is negative, I'm going to get a plus and minus. Take your square root of this here, and the square root of the one on the outside, and so your answer is just x plus one times x minus one. 
Okay. So again, difference of squares is just the square root of the first one plus the square root of the second one and then times square root of the first one minus. So in this case, take the square root of the 4x squared, which is 2x, and put it there. Put a plus and a minus, and the square root of the 9 goes here and here. Okay, pretty simple. So difference of squares again. This one I want the square root of 25y squared is 5y. Put the 5y. Put a plus and a minus. Square root of 16z squared is 4z. 4z. So it's just four, 5 plus 4z times 5 minus 4z. Okay. And here's a little harder one. You can hit pause and see if you can do this on your, on your own. And when you come back, you can check your answer. Okay. If I took the square root of this, I would get 9x squared y. 9x squared y plus and minus. Square root of this is 2z to the third. 2z to the third. I'll make my 2 nicer so you can see the 2. Okay. Hopefully you got that answer. That was a kind of a tough one, but if you understand the concept of it, of squaring this first one and then squaring the second one, or taking the square root, I'm sorry, of those, then you got it. Okay, the last thing I want to show you is factoring first. If you have something like this, it's not a perfect square trinomial, but you can, you can see that you can pull something out of these. So in this case, I could pull a 2. If I pulled a 2 out of these, I would get 2 x squared plus 10x plus 25. Now looking at this and this, I can see that those are perfect squares, so I might have a perfect square trinomial. So I could go 2, x plus 5, x plus 5, and if I think of the 4, you get 5x, 10x, so that is correct. And then I would just rewrite it as 2, x plus 5, quantity squared. Don't forget, if you divide by 2, make sure you put it out here and make sure you drop it down and make sure you drop the 2 down. Okay. In this case, I can see it's not a perfect square. It's not a difference of squares because this 10 and 40 are not perfect squares. But if I divide by 10 and I pull a 10 out, I would get x squared minus 4. Now I do have difference of squares. And I can break this down to 10 x plus 2 x minus 2. Okay. So you always want to look, can I pull something out first before you start factoring down and then see if it works out to a perfect square trinomial or a difference of squares. Hope this helps. Take care.